All right. Hey guys, what's up? This is Wolf here, one and How are my adventures doing? Welcome back to another Grand Fantasia video. But this one is going to be a voiceover because I am now catching up on my gear and talents as well. So right now you guys are seeing me farm these fragments for my talents. Uh, I forgot how strong talents are. I completely forgot that Ranger got a rework on this terrible talents that I used to have. So now I am actually farming those right now. And once I catch up with that, I can actually move on to gear related stuff, which I had some luck with all of this. But this is the main thing that I actually wanted to get done first because I wanted to see what talents that it had. Uh, which will be shown after this next clip of me actually buying bags. Um, if you guys are wondering how I got my gold, I actually did what I told you guys to do and started farming some repeat quests. Uh, the crabs inside of that area actually have some repeat quests that you can actually do, which is like 25. And once, and since I was farming there for my fragments for my talents, um, I ended up getting like some pals. It was very terrible drop rates for me, apparently. <laughs> But um, yeah, so that's pretty much how I got it. I sold them for 500. Then I went to the, um, what was it? I went to farm something else for goat. Oh yeah, um, the necklaces as well. Uh, I turned off my special eyes. Well, I turned on my uh, specialized mastery, my mastery skills to 100 so I wouldn't level. But I thought to myself, after I got done with all that farming, that that was kind of stupid. <laughs> because I should have just took that XP and just, you know, made it like a, I leveled inside of this whole grinding phase. But yeah, I probably would have leveled if I actually would have kept going. But as of right now, you guys are seeing me buy my skills. All I'm missing is my gold. Well, was it gold or silver? I think it was silver for this one. But I have most of the table maxed out because I kind of skipped over all the other ones. But just to show you guys that I am maxing out my my talents right now. Uh, right now is it is 98% and 100%. Um, a lot of these drop dramatically when it comes to like I guess plus four um, for these for talents you can put them in at any level so you can just skip over like certain points because for like most um let's say for most okay here are the combo talents well talent combos um you can make some of them up, anything like that. I forgot to make a video on this. I'm going to have to make a video on this and another thing that's about to come up, but I'll say it in this video. Uh, for this video, um, talents can be jumped. So what, I'm, what I mean by that is that you can have a... You have a dashing one, then you can automatically just go to dashing five or six. Six is the max for all talents. Well, for all of the talents on the left, the talents on the right are all max three. But you can start jumping talent talents anytime you feel like. So if you find a talent six of a skill that you only have like talent two of, you can automatically use that. Do please remember that they are very low chances and I would recommend you save up the gold to buy the yellow uh, blessed clovers for this alchemy because they will save you a lot of pain of having to farm those sixes over and over again. They are really annoying. Uh, clover should go for at least a thousand. If you see anything over that, it's more than likely a scam. I'm sorry. Sorry to anybody who thinks blessed clovers are like way higher than that. It's not. It's it is heavily inflated right now. But yeah, it is. They at least go for a thousand gold. And there's another thing. Uh, talent. Well, 
are they talent stones? I, they're power stones. The power stones in the game uh, cannot be jumped. You have to go in order. So if you have like power, power stone or let's say life, life enhancement one, you can only go up to life enhancement two. You can't just automatically go up to life enhancement three. That is a thing that you actually have to keep up with. Uh, ultimate class skills are also the same thing. Ultimate class skills cannot be jumped. They also have to be in order. So you, if you get an ultimate class skill that is um, one or... Well, if you have an ultimate class skill that is one and trying to get to three, you need two to get to three. Just keep that in mind. Three is the highest for ultimate class skills. But... Uh, the next thing is you guys are seeing me right here farm these wolves. These wolves have my sprites. I will tell you guys the longest time I've ever spent on a sprite farming, getting a single sprite, is freaking two weeks. And that's like six hour sessions when I didn't have to go to work. It's two weeks. It, it, you can only get like very lucky with this it is insane to farm sprites have a very low low drop rate from purple chests the highest rates in the purple chests are unknown seed pouches which is for guild stuff that's one two is those stupid uh pell stones that most of us never really use or pay attention to. I mean, most like players don't even use them often. Uh, three is the um, upgrade scrolls. Those are the most highest rates you're gonna get out of those purple chests, and purple chests barely drop. Purple chests, purple chests have a really low chance of dropping, also. So it is difficult to farm things confidently plus we don't really know the rate of these farms but all we can tell you from experience is that they are very very freaking low that is why auction house barely has instrument sprites in because they are very low and that's why most sprites are overpriced because they are very low so yeah keep that in mind that those sprites are going to be really annoying to get you have a better chance of getting those sprites through Altars. So I would say look at altars. Altars are the best way to get, you know, whatever sprite you're looking for. Even if you have to, like, you know, out level. I say if you find an altar with a sprite that's like, that is like level 71 and you're like level, level 60, get that sprite because it will save you so much time and pain. I say, even if you like I said, even if you have to like level all the way up there, even if it out levels you, get it. It's it's worth taking. That's how bad it is. But with that said, um yeah, that this is me farming for that sprite. And I actually did wind up getting lucky and getting that sprite later on. And that's pretty much out of this video being like what was the last video? Yeah, it's been a week now since I've been getting my gear up to date. I will say around five to six thousand gold is all you need to get up to date unless you're very unlucky with your yellow weapon. But I would say um six yeah, five thousand to six thousand gold is all you need to max out all of your skills. So if you guys want that, start farming those ancient necklace or any other repeat quest that you can sell at a decent price because ancient necklaces go for at least 2500 gold some people are selling them for 3000 which is kind of inflated but you know it the, the community is slowly coming back cuz i can actually see a lot more people so that will slowly change over time and now you guys see me getting more of my uh, sprites. Unless this is the same clip. Is this the same clip? It depends on if I buy silver again. I, I, I looked away from the screen. 
It might be the same card. Okay, no, I bought a little bit, sorry. Okay, so <laughs> just making sure. So now I'm getting my last skill. Oh, there's also another thing I've realized about playing the Ranger class. It is heavily implied that it wants you to reincarnate as soon as you get to level 65. Just looking at this class and all of its skills and all of its, like, talents, it is heavily as hell implied they want you to reincarnate. Because one of my skills, you see that skill missing next to where I'm hovering? That skill, I have only seen it say reincarnation one. Why is my normal, like, talent tree have a reincarnation inside of it? Unless that is just for fours. But that would be absurd of why it says reincarnation. Why is it telling me reincarnation? Not only that, we already seen like an armor set that has a reincarnation skill, which is like the level 41 like set that I'm wearing. It's like, why is this, why is this telling me I need to reincarnate right now in order to have, you know, my full set, you know, be effective. So I kind of feel like the devs either screwed up around that time and haven't realized it, or this is this is to force uh, rangers to reincarnate, <laughs> which I haven't seen it on Druid because my Druid is already max level. So I don't know if Druid has the same issue, honestly. I haven't really made any other characters. Also, at the time of making this video, um, Mage and Necromancer have finally gotten their rework, and that is the final one. So now we're going to probably see more quality of life come to the game, or some changes come to the game. Uh, they already had like a whole patch note list of things that have changed, so I'm interested to see what they do from this point on, because... Because I'm going to be honest with you, that was the main thing that everybody was looking forward to was re was reworks. Hopefully they rework their site to look better. But Valentine events are coming up. And stuff like that. Um, rewards for the guild battles have... The guild bosses or guild raids have changed. Outdoor events have changed. Uh, but these are for more, mostly high-level areas that most people won't even think about just yet. And they had some little updates, some little bug fixes for class buff weight issues. I don't, I don't know what the, the hell that is at all, honestly. Maybe that's a bug somebody else's experience. Uh, if you guys have any idea what the whole class weight issue was, let me know, because I'm honestly curious about what they fixed in that. Um, right here, um, I start limit testing again and testing out a little bit of the skills for a sharpshooter now that I have everything up to date. And now I'm getting my sprite ready to help because I've already had a few fails inside of this recording. Um, this is my, I think, third or fifth. No, I think third attempt. Because I think the, the second time I actually got really close. It's only reflection damage. Reflection damage is the thing that's hoeing me the most out of this. I hate this enemy just because of reflection damage. So I actually started, so I actually started trying to use um, my sprite in manual combat like I used to just to see how effective it would be. But it was actually decent because of the slow, the movement slow was actually working. I'm not sure if the life still was working then because I don't think I've ever gained life from it. So I don't think that works on bosses from what I know. So honestly, I think the slow is what really helps me in this battle. 
and sometimes the sprite skill takes a while to like actually activate i don't know if me spamming it actually helps but i i attempt to spam it every time I, as i get but i will say this this battle definitely helped me understand archer a lot more like each fell attempt i actually understood what i needed to do for this boss and this is with still my normal like um 41 armor set just just so that's known this is still my level 41 set going up against this so now that i'm getting chunked but with the talent combo it actually gives me more evasion because I'm using a Phantom Walker, I believe. And Phantom Walker gives me 25 evasion, but it also gives me a 20 damage taken reduction. So that's been helpful. Uh, I've also recently taken a liking to the Wind Walker talent because that gives me 20% movement speed, 5% uh, attack, and 15% attack speed. And it also recovers 3% of my HP and mana after killing an enemy. And that goes on cooldown for every 15 minutes. Well, not 15 minutes, 15 seconds. So I actually am keeping that in mind as well. There's also another one that I was actually curious about, which is strategy, strategic sniper, which, um, does 20% damage, gives 15% range attack, but also causes bleed for 7 seconds. And this stacks up to 8 times. So I'm curious about that as well. Like, I, I am actually very curious about that. So I think I'm going to try that one for a while. But uh, Phantom Archer is really good. For our survivability. And damage reduction uh, i know this is going to be great with a bow that is coming up which is level 70 that i already have in my archive that i'm not going to craft again i'm just going to let you guys know that now i am not crafting anything that is in my archive again because you guys have are about to see in this video how painful it was to actually get my yellow weapon I say I'm just spoiling it now because it's it's a pain in the ass. I it is a pain in the ass. I don't know what the rate is for the yellow bows because they never tell us what the rate is. It is god awful to try and do. I say you guys will well, I'm not gonna show you like all the bows I've went through, but I want you guys to remember that I had seven bows. I had made seven normal bows, and there you go. I beat the boss. I finally got my emblem that I needed. But, reminder, I needed seven bows. Seven. Seven bows. And once I got those seven bows, I couldn't do anything with them because I couldn't, you know, beat this at that time. And around that time, it was basically, um, hard stuck in me with the orange version of the weapon which didn't give too much stats but it still had a good like ability to it so i reset go again and kept farming into i got at least seven seven implants okay this one has a little bit of frame breakage in there but after i gained all those uh, i started trying to craft the bow these are my fail attempts at the start of it. Uh, one of my bows is equipped. 
Uh, so my sprite actually gives me back, like, well, kept giving me back my bow without it breaking. So I got extremely lucky on some of these points to where my sprite kept giving me back the weapon instead of, like, completely breaking it. That is a, that is a pretty decent percentage chance of getting that event. I would say it's probably like 60% chance of getting back the level 50 weapon. Not sure about all weapons. What's the chance of getting back? So it is kind of annoying in that sense. So as you guys can see, that one failed. Then I go again. And now I'm trying to open these chests just so I can see if I can don't have to go manually farm the rest of my uh, nucleus. These headed nucleus. But terrible rows in a nuclear nucleus area. So now I gotta kind of manually go farm them after this. So I would say uh, it took me. Let's see. Probably like nine or ten tries to try and get this bow. And that's what the sprite bringing me back my stuff, luckily. Well, it doesn't refund you any of your stuff. It just refunds you the bow. Keep that in mind. It just refunds you the bow. This actually has a chance of happening with a lot of weapons. I think, actually, I think it's like 20% chance they'll bring you back. Well, lower, like 40 or 30% chance of them bringing you back the weapon unscathed. So I feel like I probably got lucky. Because it happens with any weapon. It can even happen with sprite weapons too. But like green weapons. Now I think to myself, darn, I have to go back to the dungeon and actually get my stuff again. So I just started scaring along, sadly. I don't know why I went here. I'm just keeping this in, too. Just master yapper going on. Just yapping away. But, um, yeah, it, it took a while to get all the stuff I needed. Uh, It definitely took a while to get the gold I needed. I just had to actually commit to farming. With whatever time I had. I also started selling a lot of these emblems. I actually started farming the spider as well. Because the spider was a lot easier to kill. Because it didn't have reflection damage. It had, it had magic decrease. Which was... It decreased magic damage by 100%. So it stopped taking magic damage. So it'll probably be a lot harder for magic dealers to deal with. And these barely sell as it is. Not gonna lie to you, it they barely sell as it is. Even at 20 gold. Because not many people are trying to go through the suffering of making their yellow weapon. But with people like us who, you know, take the extra mile and actually sell them for a decent price instead of absurdly. <laughs> uh, it kind of helps. Kind of helps ease the pain. We're not going to sell the nu nucleus, though. You're going to have to farm that on your own. <laughs> Unless we have, like, a whole bunch of extras left over. I think I have extra extras left over. Yeah. I have a lot of extras stayed over. The only reason my sprite pauses here is just because I clicked on a different screen. So we actually get to see 
I'm pretty sure this is the clip where I finally got a success out of it. Like at this point, I was like, dude, please let this be let this be it because I am tired of going back and farming. I, I kept farming the dungeon or farming the spider into I got at least like 60 or 50 nucleus. I was not leaving that dungeon. But here it is. I finally got my yellow weapon. It took me all, all up until this point, it is taking me a week. And so I've been holding on to the other parts for quite a while just, just to get this, you know, more up to date because I had to focus on this a lot more. I'm still not completely done because I still need my, my, uh, what is it? Firearm sprite. I still need a sprite with a scavenging and mining, scavenging and mining to build my next armor set. Like I said, I wouldn't have to worry about that if I would have, you know, chose Silver Leaf, but I actually wanted to experience um, building a weapon. And building a weapon's not fun. <laughs> I will say that now. And it does put you, like I said, in a lot of predicaments. I thought to myself, I might as well finish the rest of these bows, but then I realized that I can't sell those bows. So there's no point of, like, doing that. So I just completely give up on getting those bows. Um, I try and level this bow up to seven, but I only get, end up giving it six, and I stop trying to toy with it because it got to level, no, it got to duration, durability uh, 77. So I just completely stop touching it. Just so it can, like, <laughs> just so it won't break, because I don't have a mallet for this character. And mallets are, I think mallets are like a thousand right now. And I don't have a thousand anymore. Since I am broke, I would have to go out and get another mallet. Oh, yeah, mallets are selling for at least 300 to 400 separately. But uh, they're only selling them in piles of 10, so they're like 4,000 gold. Deer. Uh, Dear X Legend, please let us purchase separately from Stacks. For the love of God, please. This is getting really annoying to where people only sell sets. This has to change. But that is it. Everything is pretty much up to date. Uh, the servers have been lagging a lot more. Has Have I been the only one who noticed that? I can't be the only one who's noticed that servers have been lagging a lot more, it feels like. But anywho, there's a lot of things that I need to update now. So that is basically it. I will see you guys um, probably soon. I have more to um, actually do. See ya. Yeah.